What's up everybody? NW Best Life with another video here. And as we get ready for Coastal uh, King and Coho fishing season here in the state of Washington, and, um, I want to talk about what uh, you're doing with your, your bobber and egg game, your bobber game, and specifically, what are we doing uh, with leaders? How to, uh, how to set up leaders for, uh, for bobber fishing for king and uh, coho salmon, but especially kings where we really target them with eggs. Um, there's also a lot of kings in Puget Sound rivers right now. And some of these rivers will have pretty low visibility. And I wanna give you some ideas. I'm gonna show you some, some setups to use in different scenarios, different types of rivers um, and equip you with what you need to know to have a lot of success fishing for king salmon. So here's a few things we're not covering. A bunch of float fishing basics. You're gonna to wanna to look at my video on secrets for uh, catching king salmon uh, with, with bobber and egg. Uh, we're not gonna cover curing eggs for salmon. There's other videos out there on that that are fantastic. Um, just a second on that though, if you're not curing your own eggs for salmon, you're missing out on a tremendous opportunity to catch a lot of king salmon. Um, really up your catch numbers and it's really easy to do you know it's one of those things where people are like uh, oh man you got to have all this secret cure and this egg curing recipe that I'm gonna take into my grave and I get it there's some good egg cures out there that people have come up with and they're there's guarded secrets but they're only a little bit better than what you can just go buy from your local sporting goods store commercial cure slap it on and uh, watch one of the videos on how to do it, and, you, and you're good to go. Maybe add some Procure Sense to it, doctor it up a bit, but come on, it's not that hard. Uh, if you're not, if you're waiting to, to, to cure your own bait because you think it's really hard, get off your butt, cure some bait. It's not that hard. All right, let's look at, let's look at, I'm gonna look at three different leader scenarios that you're gonna wanna use in three different uh, water conditions, right? I'm gonna cover really low visibility, Right, like when we're talking glacial rivers, maybe an inch, two inches of visibility. Um, we're gonna talk about that. Um, we're gonna talk about your normal scenario for fishing bobber and egg. What 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 you normally might want to do with like you know decent clarity, not gin clear, but pretty decent clarity. And then I want to give you a little tip on uh, when when water's really clear. There's a few rivers out on the coast. Uh, I, I don't do I don't do river naming here other than like the Puyallup because uh, the Columbia or some like super popular rivers everyone knows anyways right um, no secrets there <clears throat> but I don't like naming rivers uh, you, you mentioned in, mentioned rivers in the comments and spots in the comments I'll just delete those comments um, it's not 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 cool so um, <clears throat> let's get right to it now that we have our bobber leader freshly tied bobber leader two out hook. 20 pound test line, fluorocarbon line. <clears throat> we need to get this thing ready to fish. One of the challenges with fishing eggs under flow is uh, the eggs are neutral buoyancy, right? So when you splash them down in the water, uh, they're not gonna immediately sink to the bottom. In fact, if you've got you know, your three foot bobber leader, uh, knowing where those eggs are fishing in the water column may be a challenge. And so in low visibility conditions, fishing near the bottom, knowing where you're fishing is super, super important. And I use these things called bait weights. All right, Bomac makes these uh, cheater bait weights, size 14 is what I use. Uh, the color almost doesn't matter because you'll knock them around on the rocks, they'll lose all of their paint and they'll still keep fishing uh, fantastic. Here's one of them up close out of the, right? So these little guys. I'll thread that on through the hook here, through the line. I'll thread that on. Bam. There's the business end of our bobber leader. And what this does is it makes sure that you are your eggs are fishing exactly where you think they're fishing, right? So as you notice the float tilt forward a little bit, you can adjust your bobber stop down a little bit, fish a little shallower, and know you're right in the zone. Fishing, uh, fishing for kings with eggs in like zero visibility water is, is about fishing exactly where you need to be. Uh, and, and inches matter. When I'm adjusting 
my uh, barber stop, I am moving it like half an inch at a time uh, because I want to be in, in the exact best position to fish uh, the water the best way. So <clears throat> uh, I will use this in higher visibility too, maybe up to a foot, two feet, even three feet. I'll use bait weights and great success with these things. Adds a little bit of color, a little bit of contrast, um, but they can become problematic in, in some situations, usually with higher visibility. And so in those situations, the bait weight comes off and we got another thing. The old split shot, right? Right, the, uh, the, classic, the classic split shot weight. And with split shot, I will set my split shot, split, split shot, I'll set my split shot up to be right around here. All right, maybe eight inches up the leader. And now when you're fishing this, it just, you have a little bit more predictability of where your eggs are, but uh, uh, make it a little easier to fish, a little more predictable of knowing where your eggs are, uh, but it's not really affecting the presentation. You don't have a weight right up against the hook, right? Which might, might not be appealing for some situations with really good visibility, right? It may affect the bite. So um, you can throw a split shot up, you can move it further up the line, right? Further up the line, the maybe maybe a foot and a half, right? And then at some point, you want to go naked, just a straight leader, right? Really high visibility water. You want to go with this. In fact, there's a river which I won't mention that uh, the number of hookups I, I fished I was by myself. Uh, fishing on top of a bunch of big pile of king salmon, perfect water conditions. Um, until I removed the split shot, uh, I wasn't I wasn't getting bit hardly at all. Removed the split shot, and it was literally every cast bobber down. Another concept in that same river, switching from your typical float torpedo float to uh, one of these clear floats, made a huge difference in hookups huge difference in hookups like like not like one or two but like four or five to one using these clear floats so uh, visibility really matters for how you're fishing um, uh, for kings with eggs under a float I want to put a twist on fishing uh, <clears throat> fishing low visibility water like water that people will tell you oh kings won't bite in this water there's no visibility this is a flossing a flossing show only. I'm here to tell you, uh, kings will absolutely bite in almost zero visibility water. There's a few things you have to do differently. All right, number one tip for catching more kings in really low visibility water is use big clusters of eggs that are wet and giving off a lot of scent. Uh, it's gonna, by far, that's the, the biggest thing. I mean, we're talking like golf ball size, um, silver dollar sized um, uh, clusters of eggs. None of this little dime stuff and this little steelhead stuff. Using big, big clusters of eggs is gonna be super important for getting these kings to go, helping them smell it, find it, and bite it. All right, tip number two. Use one of these bait weights. It, it's super important that you're fishing uh, right where you need to be, which is just up from the bottom. These fish in low visibility, they're hugging the stake in bottom. Use a bait weight, note it, look at your float when you're fishing it, find bottom, come up like an inch, and you're in the money, you're in the zone. Bait weight's gonna help you do that. Tip number three, it, it's about fishing in less water, right? Uh, it's about reading the water knowing where the fish are. You, you get to pick where on the river you're gonna fish. When there's lots of public access, you get to pick. You wanna pick a part of the river that fish are traveling through or holding in that is smaller than the full river size. Unless you're fishing a really small river, you wanna put the odds in your favor. If I can find a place where perhaps the river has an island in the middle of it, there's a fork, and, and, and the kings prefer one side or the other, 
that's what I'm looking for. If there's a um, uh, one of these like mini uh, like waterfall situations where uh, there's only one uh, part of the channel, right, where uh, where they're gonna go up and the rest of it's too shallow, I'm gonna fish near the head of that. And in fact, you can see it here in this in this in this footage. It's exactly what I'm doing on this river and uh, finding a pile of kings that are moving through. Um, and then lastly, you want to find slow enough moving water. If your float is just screaming down the drift, you may get a hookup or two, but it's going to be tough. You're, you're not giving the fish much reaction time. But if you can find a spot that is all of these things combined, slow moving, half the water, fishing it perfectly, using a bait weight right above the bottom, big chunks of eggs, uh, you're gonna get you're gonna get some hookups. Hell yeah! Big, big, eggs too, huh? big hen, yeah. Nice job. Thanks. I'm gonna release it. It's not dinner, huh? Well, it's a it's a female. It's gonna be pretty pretty oh, white. It up. Yeah, look at the eggs are like coming out. Yeah. yeah, that's my fish. I've had probably some of my best days um, fishing for king salmon uh, anywhere in zero visibility rivers. Hopefully this helps you, equips you. Punch that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel. There's lots more coming. Uh, probably next video is gonna be on coho and uh, some of the cool techniques there for, for chasing coho. So uh, lots more to come. Have a good one. Tight lines. See ya.